What's up, bringers? Uh, this is your second Java tutorial with me, Travis, from mybringback.com. And what we're doing today is we're just going to talk through um, some variables, just get you familiar with variables, what they do, what they are, how you assign them, um, and which variables you use. It's kind of a just a quick overview of that. We are going to really explain what uh, you know the public static void or the public class is, or even the system out. Um, yet we'll get to it I just want you guys to kind of get familiar with seeing that before I actually explain what it does um, and again if, if you didn't get to work in the last tutorial you might want to use these uh, I don't know if you include these little uh, brackets there or not but make sure you, this uh, variable has the brackets on the end and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our main um, public or basically our function here or method, the main method, um, and within here we're going to establish some variables. And what variables are is, um, you know, basically you're assigning something to a variable word, and then whenever you use that variable word, it will uh, bring up what you're, whatever you're assigning. It's kind of hard to explain it, but we're just going to get into it, and it's pretty easy. Uh, the first one I want you guys to know is int int is basically anytime you use a number it's an integer so it's not going to be there's no decimals it's just like whole numbers like one two three four um, etc and to set up your int variable uh, you just first type in what kind of variable you want to have since we're creating an integer we're going to type int and then space and then whatever whatever you want to label this variable as that you can remember I'm gonna say fav number um, or fav num, and then you just put a semicolon at the end. Pretty much every statement, uh, you're gonna have to put that semicolon at the end. And then the next variable we're gonna do is like a words when you're using words. Um, you, that's called a string basically. Every time you use words as a variable, you want to label as string. Um, so we're again we're assigning what kind of variable we want. It's a string variable, um, and what we're we gonna call this. Uh, we're just going to call it words and again the semicolon now this really doesn't do anything yet um, they aren't assigned to anything we just basically set up what we want a variable name to be and what kind of variable it actually is uh, to assign it we're going to have to go down here and just type in favnum and obviously this is going to be integer integer um, as we established up here so we're going to say favnum or favorite number is equal to whatever your favorite number is. I'm going to put seven. And the next line, we're going to want to establish what words are. Words, again, is a string, um, so it's going to be words that we're typing. But we need to establish what it, what we want this value to be. So we're going to type words equal to. And anytime you define a string, you want to use quotations. So it's going to say, what is your favorite? Sorry, um, for some reason I was thinking I spelled favorite wrong there for some reason. But uh, what is your favorite number? That's base, or actually no, we're going to say uh, my favorite number is, and then we're going to put a space, extra space after that uh, is, and hit a semicolon. Um, basically, th this is what our string variable words is going to be. So as you saw from last lesson, this is how we kind of just do a simple print onto, um, onto our, wherever we're running this application. Uh, so right now, instead of having hello Travis like we did last tutorial, we're just going to delete this. And um, basically, we're just going to put within, within these uh, parentheses is words plus and then uh, fave num. And now what it's going to say is it's going to print out whatever a words variable is, which says my favorite number is space, and then we're also going to add in favorite number after that, which is 7. So when we run this, uh, also another way you can run is just hit this uh, button up here um, and just hit OK. And as you can see down here, it says my favorite number is 7 just like we predicted but now let's say um, I mean basically you guys should know how how this works um, or at least have kind of a familiar familiar grasp from the last tutorial 
but let's say we want to add a period in there we're just going to put a plus and anything we want to define within this system out print um, that isn't a variable or isn't something else we've already defined we want to put it in quotations and hit and hit period for example you you could do it this way or you could just say um, I mean it wouldn't be very useful but you could set up a, per a period string and then uh, label that period string as period and then type in the word period down here um, but you know I just wanted to show you guys can mix it up using variables and also your uh, own defined uh, quotations within the system print so we're gonna hit again and just make sure it run works yeah we have that period at the end of the seven now um, some other variables we're gonna get into more as we go but I just want to kinda show you a couple more or maybe just one more depending on time another one is double and this is um, we're gonna label this again this is however we whatever we want to label this double as uh, specific uh, number that's what that is gonna be and basically like I said an integer can only be whole numbers but like a double um, this specific num can be equal to something like 2.3456 now we can put in our specific number. I'm sorry, kind of lost focus there. Uh, trying to figure out what, what was happening, but we're just going to put in plus a specific number. And uh, now, it, now it's been referenced. So if we run this again, it's uh, here's our sentence, and then we just have that uh, double after. So if you need to use specific numbers, if you're like dividing, you probably want to use a double because you want. Uh, you know these something after the actual period uh, so you can be more specific uh, just like we defined right there um, yeah this is probably all the time I have this is just a quick intro uh, just to get you guys familiar with variables how you set them up how you define what the variable is and how you can use it in some sort of method like the print statement so I hope you guys liked it again this is just a quick intro um, we'll go over some of this stuff later, uh, but thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up, check out mybringback.com, and I'll catch you guys later.